when I'm afraid, I, I, I try to look for the good. I try to look for the, the thread of hope. And through the course of uh, this big, you know, trying time throughout the world, God is that hope. And my faith has been that hope um, that sort of anchored us uh, both in this time. Hey, what's up, y'all? I'm Adam Hambrick. Uh, I'm a Universal Nashville singer, songwriter, artist. At the beginning when all this started, it really just felt pretty terrifying because anytime you're going into an unknown kind of thing, uh, your instinct is to be scared. We didn't know what the virus did. We didn't know how widespread it was going to be. I never will forget the first day that uh, we knew that Merritt was going to be testing COVID patients. Um, you know, she she walked out the door that morning and, and I just kind of felt this like felt this heaviness um but i knew there was nothing either of us could do about it because leaving and like ditching out of town was not really an option because i know that's part of her calling as a as a healthcare professional is to care for people who are sick uh period you know um but i just remember the first day that she left leaving thinking okay i hope this is gonna be okay uh, <laughs> Um, and there's not really a more, more vulnerable place to be. But the more it's gone on, the more she's settled into her work and, um, and the more I've just been encouraged and just like calmed by seeing her walk into work every day um, and doing what she's doing without flinching and, uh, and just seeing, you know, I feel like the Lord's met us in our fear and, uh, and kind, of, kind of shown us, okay, there's, there's nothing to be afraid of. Um, not that the virus doesn't do damage, not that it's not scary, um, but just seeing her uh, show up every day doing what she's doing, we've been comforted in this season of unknown and uh, we're not terrified anymore. One source of hope, I think, during this time is just the space that I've had and my wife has had to kind of worked on our marriage during this time and, and I feel like God has blessed us with the pause um, because a lot of times I'm busy, she's busy and, and we can kind of hide in our schedules and and kind of like miss each other. But <laughs> this time at home has like made us uh, learn how a little bit better to be a team. And I'm really grateful for that because we both needed that and we didn't really know that we needed it as bad as we do. And I feel like that's that in of itself has been a source of hope and we can kind of lean on each other a little better um, during this kind of like crazy time in our world history. I do feel like this situation has uh, helped me draw closer to God, deepen my faith, because if I'm a person who professes to believe that God is in control, um, it's easy to think that he's in control when things are easy, but when things feel unjust, when things feel completely out of control, um, where does my help come from? Uh, who has me? Who has me in his hand? Do I do I actually believe that's that's God? I, I believe uh, that this has just been kind of a mental, uh, spiritual exercise of like. Where is my hope actively? Is my hope actively in my ability to make money or my ability to handle, you know, whatever situations come up? Uh, I can't handle a worldwide pandemic. My hand is not big enough. And I feel like, like this has been God challenging me um, in a lot of ways to, to see him for how big he truly is. And if I believe that he has me in the good times, um, well, that's pretty easy. And he's just challenged me to believe and to, to have hope um, that he is who he is, even in these kind of dark times. I hope that this time drives us more toward each other. I hope, I hope we're starved for each other by the time this is over and that um, we realize how much we need people. And then we realize how much we need um, to be affected by other people and need to be invested in each other emotionally and spiritually. Um, cause that's, that's connection, that's community. That's where God moves, you know? And I, I hope that, I hope that during this time we see how much we need each other and we see how much, um, see how much we miss real true connection. 
just wanted to share with you uh, this passage from Jesus Calling from January 31st. It says, I am your strength and shield. I plan out each day and have it ready for you long before you arise from bed. I also provide the strength you need each step of the way. Instead of assessing your own energy level and wondering about what, what's on the road ahead, concentrate on staying in touch with me. My power flows freely into you through our open communication. Refuse to waste energy worrying, and you will have strength to spare. Whenever you start to feel afraid, remember that I am your shield. But unlike inanimate armor, I'm always alert and active. My presence watches over you continually, protecting you from both known and unknown dangers. Entrust yourself to my watch care, which is the best security system available. I'm with you and will watch over you wherever you go. So it's a brilliant reminder to me of uh, who God is and how close he actually is to us and um, just his care. And I uh, hope that encourages you today. Thank you, Stone Cut. Yeah.